up everybody my name is Raquel thank you so much for joining me today if you are new here welcome and if you are returning as always thank you so much for joining me today you could be with anybody else on the internet but you are here with me and I appreciate you today I'm doing a wash and go with the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil line I have the full line and I'm so excited to show you guys how I actually applied these products to my hair and I'm going to give you a review before we get into the video make sure you slap that subscribe button I upload videos very often and I would love for you to join the family if you're not already so let's get right into the video so I'm gonna go ahead and go through the products just how I applied them in the video so I can give a little bit of a review of each product so let's start off with the shampoo now I only got a travel size and I really suggest that you guys do this if you're not sure about a product and you don't want to go ahead and spend like 12 to 13 dollars on a shampoo and then you find out that you don't like it I bought a 3.2 fluid ounce bottle for about two dollars and 99 cents and it's a pretty good amount you see I only used I didn't really use too much because I don't really invest a lot of money in shampoos so I'm glad I tried this out I might actually go buy the bigger one after we use the other shampoo just because I really liked it um, it uh, kind of reminded me it was I was really surprised how thin it was it was very thin it didn't really set up in my hair which I find I like I like that the best but I feel like it really cleaned my hair the smell wasn't too overpowering and I really like the way that it cleaned my hair my hair still felt moisturizing after using this and it didn't feel my hair was stripped out of its natural oils so I if you're looking for a higher end shampoo um, I would definitely suggest that you get this one you know my favorite my ultimate favorite is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafur oil line I love that line but if you're looking for something a little bit different and you want to switch it up I think after I'm done with that shampoo I'll go ahead and buy the bigger version of this one so I suggest getting this I believe the only product that I did not purchase is the conditioner from this line but I did managed to snag a mask now I've used this mask years ago I bought maybe I've used maybe two tubs of it and I absolutely love it I never I didn't know why I never went back and purchased it and it's probably because I have so many deep conditioner masks that I can't justify buying another one but I did snag this mask from Target again go to Target and get the travel size or the sample size products just so that you can try different products and you don't have to invest and the full size right off the bat but I got the mask and you guys this mask was so amazing I love the fact that I did not have to touch my hair I just put it I didn't even detangle my hair I just put it in my hair and by the time that 30 to an hour was finished I was able to go ahead and just run my fingers run the brush my dimming brush through my hair without a lot of resistance so I definitely definitely highly suggest getting this mask I wish that I included this in my top five deep conditioner mask because this I forgot how amazing it was the only thing is you have to relatively for some people it doesn't last long in their hair this is two fluid ounces and this was more than enough for my hair I think for my hair I probably only need like an ounce to an ounce and a half to really cover my hair but I believe this was only three dollars at most so um, for the sample size so I highly this is probably one of my favorite favorite products from the line so get the mask this is an excellent mask the only thing was also with this mask it made it kind of turned my stomach after a while at first it's it's probably one of the stronger scents from the line because it's so concentrated so after a while I honestly got nauseous and that's the only thing from the line that the smell a lot of people say the smell reminds them of play-doh but to me it reminds me of like a pastry condensed milk if you ever smell that condensed milk that's what it smells like to me I don't know but this product is my favorite from the line okay so next I applied the Shea Moisture leave-in conditioner and this is probably my second favorite product from the line if you can get one product or two products from the line I would definitely highly suggest getting this I this is probably my fourth tub of this and I haven't used it in so long and I forgot how amazing it was 
and I forgot how much I loved it and why I loved it so much because my hair was so moisturized. Usually if I'm applying my hair the way I applied it in the video, that after a while my hair would just suck up all the moisture quickly and my hair stayed moisturized with this. I stayed silky, stayed smooth. I purchased this item probably like two to three years ago, right when it first came out. And I got it because this is one of the first ones other than the Cantu product that I saw that had the actual leave-in conditioner in the title. So this is a, like a pioneer product, at least from what I saw. I definitely think that you get a bang for your buck for this product. And I like it because it's a water-based product, again, and it's so hydrating. So I absolutely love this product. It's not as intense as far as the smell as the mask also. So it doesn't really linger and didn't really make me nauseous at all. So that's what I liked about this product also. So I highly suggest, again, this is one of my favorites just of all time products. So suggest that you get this. So next I applied the smoothie and honestly, it wasn't really groundbreaking to me. I want to keep using it though. I, I feel like I fell in love right away with the Shea Moisture, um, the 10 in 1 Renewal System. That smoothie that I found at Ulta and that's really the only place that I've seen it. Um, with this product, I I want to use this and the gel by itself so that I can really see how well it does in my hair. But for the most part, I think that it's a really good idea to actually put all of these products together because it did give me good results. I'm just not sure still how well it did by itself. So I'm going to continue using this and look for this product in a later video so I can show you exactly what it does in just a regular wash and go with just this and the gel. And speaking of the gel, I again want to see how it does in just a regular wash and go with just the smoothie. Um, I feel like it gave pretty good hold but again I can't really tell because my hair was so moisturized with the leave-in conditioner and the smoothie. It didn't give me like maximum hold. I felt like when it was drying, I was like, uh-oh, it's going to give me like the hardest cast, but it really didn't. It kind of reminded me of the shampoo just because of the color and the consistency. It wasn't like a jelly. It was more so like oh, on the oil-based side. So I'm not too sure. The verdict is still out on this product, but I'm going to continue to use it. Honestly, I don't find it necessary to go out and buy like a 12 to $13 gel. I just don't. The Eco Styler works perfectly well and they have a black castor oil Eco Styler gel now. I'm sorry, my daughter's over here playing. <laughs> um, they have a black castor oil Eco Styler now. So I would say just stick to that and that's like $2.99. So um, I just wanted to get the full line and that's why I purchased this. And again, it was so hard to find this. They only sold it, I saw at like a Target and I had to go like way out. Well, not way out, but like past the one I usually go to, to find it and they don't carry it at every single one. So that was kind of odd to me. I would say I like the product. I feel like it didn't leave any cat, it didn't leave like a gel cast. I don't see any whiteness in my hair that's left from it, but it wasn't groundbreaking either. So I would say skip this. is just the edge treatment gel and womp womp I don't really like this product I'm not too big though on edge controls I feel like you can just use like a what, what you have on hand so if you have conditioner you can use that to lay your edges you can use the styling milks leave-in conditioners um, eco styler gels whatever I have on hand I feel like I can use that I didn't I don't have to go out and just purchase like an edge control gel and I feel like it's just like the souffle. It, I feel like the consistency is just like it. The only difference is the smell. 
This smells like the Jamaican black castor oil line and then the souffle smells like the coconut and hibiscus line. Those two are identical to me. So, and as you can see, it was kind of, I don't think it really looks greasy, but to me it, I feel like if somebody doesn't really know how to use the product, then it can look greasy and that's not cute. It says that it nourishes your edges, so it has some treatment qualities to it, but you can just put Jamaican black castor oil, coconut oil, whatever oil that you have on hand, and put that on your edges. You don't necessarily need to buy this product as well, honestly. That's just my opinion. I feel like you can just skip this all together. that I have on the whole entire line. For one, it was really difficult for me to find all of the products. I probably went to four different stores to find it. I went to Walmart, I went to Kroger, and I went to two different Targets to find the whole line. So it was really difficult for me, especially to find that gel, to find all of the products. With the smoothie, I also went to Sally's um, because they were having a sale at the time. So just to find out where every single product was. So that was kind of frustrating not having or not finding a central location. I feel like there has to be maybe on the Shea Moisture website somewhere that shows where you can find a full collection or at least where you can find each individual product instead of doing a whole scavenger hunt to find everything. Um, so again, if you have to choose or you want to know what products you should get from the line, I personally really liked like the deep conditioner and I like the leave-in conditioner. If you want to throw something else in there, I do like that shampoo. I feel like it has nourishing qualities to it as well. So if you're fine, if you want to find a high-end shampoo, you should definitely go with that one also. So all in all, I think it's an incredible line for the most part. My hair speaks for itself. I feel like there's minimum frizz. It defined my hair and it feels moisturizing. Uh, there might be like a little bit of a film on it and I'm not really sure what that could be from but again I did layer a lot of product than I usually do for regular wash and goes but I feel like this is going to last for a while so I can't be too mad at that so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video again make sure that you subscribe if you haven't done so and like this video if you would like to see more hair videos so thank you for joining me today I'll see you really soon take care bye